Well, Danny, game of two halves is too much of a cliche, but it was, wasn't it? Yeah, you could say that, Kevin, but ultimately it was all about just winning the game and getting into the hat for the fourth qualifying round draw, which obviously we've done. Uh, and I thought, I felt our boys showed fantastic spirit. Uh, we weren't great in the first half. I'm not going to stand here and say that for one moment. But, you know, they showed a different level of uh, a level of quality in the second half. Uh, albeit, you know, Sheppey, I felt, did tire. Uh, and make no mistake, take nothing away from Sheppey United. They're a very, very good side. And I'm pretty sure they'll win the league that they're playing in. Yeah, we didn't quite believe you when you kept telling us that Sheppey are a decent side. But um, the, in the first half, they were compact, they were organised. They, they were impressive. Yeah, well, we, we prepared for this just like we would do a league game. And, you know, these are, you know, and it's another cliche, these games are banana skins. You know, we're supposed to win the game uh, at half time. You know, we, we're a little bit down, you know, trailing by a goal to nil. But uh, I felt the second half, the boys really got on top and uh, it was a, an interesting cameo appearance from Greg Lua. Well, indeed. I mean, inspired substitution, we... we I think he was possibly not quite 100% fit and that's why he didn't start. Yeah, well, obviously he missed out Saturday, struggling a little bit with his hamstring, but, you know, we know the importance of the FA Cup, both both from uh, both from the financial point of view and from a kudos point of view. So I felt we needed to get Greg on and you can see what a top player Greg Lure is just in that small time he was on. Uh, he's feeling his hamstring, so it was on and off and uh, hopefully we, we get it sorted and he'll be all right uh, as soon as possible. Uh, the games are coming thick and fast. Uh, there's another one on Saturday when Chelmsford are here, but before that there is a draw for the fourth qualifying round. Well, I've been a non-league manager for quite some time now, and it's always been my ambition to get in the first round proper. So, you know, it's something I think this club deserves it, and it'd be fantastic both financially and, uh, as I say, for, from a personal point of view, it's just always been something I've wanted to do. Albeit this season, if you were to be drawn uh, against a football league side away, there'd be no crowd, which once again was very, very, you know, it's odd again tonight. It, you know, I'd love our fans to have been here to see the boys because they would have been feeling, you know, uh, a little bit apprehensive at half time, but in the, the spirit, this group of players and management uh, have got is something to be desired. And uh, you know, I'd love our fans to be back. And as you say, the draw uh, is this Wednesday. And uh, you know, you're going to ask me the next question. I'll preempt it. Who do you want? I'd like the lowest ranked side here at uh, Priory Lane on Saturday week. I think most people would understand your reasoning there. But well done tonight. Enjoy tonight, and uh, we look forward to the next round. Thanks very much, Kevin. Thanks to all of you. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon, supporters. And uh, I know you're behind us from a distance, and it is greatly appreciated.